Hey folks, Captain Dave here in the Wolf Den one more time and what we're going to do is we're going to discuss ugly sticks. Being your YouTube ugly stick ambassador, well, I didn't actually, I didn't make, somebody called me that one time because I probably have more ugly stick videos on YouTube than ugly stick. But see, there's big changes going on, or there was a big change going on, and you may have seen this on UglyStick.com. People always ask me questions, just to let you know, that are answered on UglyStick.com. And there's changes, and I don't know if you know what the changes are, but I'm here to tell you. That's why you got me. Let's just go through this a little bit, and I mean, I'm just doing this off the top of my head. I don't have no notes. This is all observations. I don't work for Ugly Stick. I don't work for Shakespeare. They don't do diddly squat for me. Okay. I'm just a fan. I'm a fishing guide that's a fan. Okay. I'm not a store and I'm not going to review a salmon rod. There's some changes that went on in the Ugly Stick world. And what it is, is going to the Ugly Tough Guides. stainless steel titanium inserted guides. I discuss them in my other videos. Most of the ugly stick line has gone to these stainless steel titanium inserted here that can't fall out what they call ugly tough guides. This happens to be on a white ugly stick catfish rod. One of my absolute go-to workhorses. But with that there is also some changes where they're taking blanks such as this and some of the older blanks, um, Ugly Stick Big Water, and they're putting these type of guides on them or even these big offshore super heavy duty guides. I just happen to be, you know, at a, at a store looking at these brand new uh, ugly stick tiger light jigging models this this right here and I'm looking at the brand new ones and I'm talking to a fellow standing there and he picks up some of the rods and he says to me doesn't it feel like they cheapen them this doesn't feel like my my old and he was kind of talking surf casting and rods to use off the beach this doesn't feel like my old one and I said well they're you know they're they're not any non tougher you know I mean it's all basically the same but then when I started looking at these and then compared to the old model and these are referred to as well, I'm gonna call these the old model with the Fuji guides and the Fuji real seat when I started looking at this rod compared to the new one with the ugly tough guides yeah, that real seat's like a little cheaper. It's more of a Shakespeare real seat. This Fuji real seat is just more, just number one, it's not black. It's like a gunmetal gray. So what I did right then is I knew I wanted new rods for these reels. So what I do, I immediately went out and found some of the late model ones. And here's the thing. I actually was looking for a video exactly like this to sort of explain this where I didn't have to go out and drive around and go to different stores and stuff to see the difference because one store had all the brand new ones with the ugly tough guides and the cheaperish feeling real seat and then I go to another store and I find these. And I find two six foot three ones and I'm looking at them. I'm going, I don't want the new ones, even though the ugly tough guides are fantastic. This 
just seems better. So the late model ones seem better than the ones with the ugly tough guides. Now I can't say that about every one of the Shakespeare ugly sticks because I'm telling you the stripers and a catfish when they put on the ugly tough guides on these it changed that entire rod. That, that rod is tenfold better because of the eyes. The ugly tough guides are 10 times better than the old eyes that they used to stick on the catfish and the striper, especially the striper rod. The striper rod had like these chrome plated guides on them that corroded immediately in salt water. So what I got here now is three complete setups of this. And these are going to be my new having to use eight and 10 and 12 ounce lead, who knows? These are going to be great for jigging offshore, you know, bucktailing, whatever, um, drifting. I, I like just even drifting offshore in and around hard bottom. And you take a heavy bucktail and I put a piece of fish bites on it and you're just bouncing it. You're not really, you know, you're not doing any butterfly jigging or anything. You're just jigging, taking it in, letting it out, just jigging, you know, that type of thing. And, I mean, I'm not a big-time offshore guy. I dabble in it. I used to be big-time. Big-time. That's all I did was think grouper, snapper, bottom fishing. And I did. I was, I was so hooked on that for about five years. And I was doing it in much smaller boats than I own right now. But the older I get, the less I like to get beat up. I went out one time. It was so cold that a friend of mine turned around and said, if you continue, you're going to need scuba suits. And I went, what? Because we were just inside the river at that time. We broke out the inlet, and he wasn't kidding. We had 14 miles of water coming over the bow of the boat. And he was right. We needed god dang scuba suits, you know, uh, wetsuits on. Because by the time we got, we actually had to stop and put on full foul weather gear. And water was just pouring over the bow. But what did me and a buddy of mine do? We got out there and I looked at him and he had a full beard. And I said to him, you got ice hanging in your beard. And he looks at me and he goes, because I had a beard too. And um, he looks at me and he says, what do you, what do you think? That um, I'm a lone ranger or something? I don't know. He said something funny and we laughed and laughed. Because he had icicles hanging off of his beard. And then he looks at me and I have the same thing. It was freezing cold that day. It was like 28 degrees and here we're heading offshore. And it's like four to six foot seas. We didn't think nothing of it. What I wanted to do is just kind of, this isn't a review or whatever. This is a heads up. That if you're interested in the ugly stick tiger light jigging. It actually says jigging right there, okay? And it's the Ugly Stick Tiger Light Jigging. And it is light. This rod doesn't weigh nothing. This thing's got, this rod's got complete, like, five stars all over. Cabela's and Bass Pro Shops, I think, is where I saw it. Um, five stars all the way for lightness and, and fishability. The point is, if you get the newer model with the Ugly Tough Guides, it's not the same components as this rod. This is the late, older model one. So, what I'm kind of figuring, I'm trying to figure this out. you got to figure these manufacturers out. You don't know what the hell they're doing. Improving one thing and cheaping another. This probably isn't the biggest thing selling. This is not no way nowhere close to the biggest selling uh, ugly stick around, because it's a jigging model, saltwater predominantly, predominantly saltwater jigging offshore, heavy lead, maybe bottom fishing. I got friends of mine that I know they got a whole bunch of these for just plain bottom fishing. So you're not getting the same rod. The whole point is you're not. 
or you're not the rods the the blank is probably all the same but they made changes when they gave you those more uh or tougher guides i guess than these would be with no inserts or whatever no ceramic inserts they went ahead and cheapened it down here down here and that's been bothering me and i mean i actually took one day out of my entire week and I drove around all these stores and I went and I looked and I found ones, like I said, with the brand new. And this is just a better looking, you know, this is just a better looking, better feeling um, real seat and with a gimbal. So I'm keeping my eye on Ugly Stick. They've probably done some other things. I noticed they took the Big Water series and they put the ugly tough guides on them but then they put too big of eyes on it they put the super offshore extended kind of bridge guides and yet they don't need that they're they're overdoing it the big water rods are big water but they're no bigger water than this and look at the guides on that we're talking these these guides that bridge out like this they come out like that that they stuck on the new and improved big water rods so this is my new setup i know maybe this was a little bit of a rambling on but here's the thing i couldn't find anything about these you can't find anything about a lot of ugly sticks on youtube so hopefully me being your ugly stick ambassador can enlighten you a little bit if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below you know me i always answer the best of my ability i answer uh, all your questions. I mean, don't ask me the same things that you can look at right on UglyStick.com because I'm just I just reply with www.UglyStick.com. I can tell you all the way around. These are these are seventy dollar rods here, and they're no different in price when they put the Ugly Stick or Ugly Tough guides on the, the stainless steel guides. They didn't change the price any, but they cheapened the real seat and the gimbal and maybe even the foam is just a little maybe a hair different i'm not sure but oh yeah i can't wait till we uh pull some big old red bass or something off the bottom with these that's it leave your uh comments below subscribe i got all kinds of stuff going on if you look at just if you click on my channel and go look you're gonna see it's just not all fishing it's just not all ugly stick Hopefully, you're going to see some video very shortly where we're pressing these rods into action. I can't wait. I almost took them today, but really the emphasis today was on trout fishing. So, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.